<laughs> you look like you're being eaten by the fridge. Everybody, we are up bright and early today. It's Saturday and I'm gonna do a weekend vlog. I always find it absolutely hilarious how during the week on um, school days I have to wake the kids up and then at the weekend they wake me up at like 6 a.m. I hear I am looking like a date. Freya has her tutor coming, which never normally happens at weekend, they normally keep it free. But she has her coming at 9.30 because her tutor wasn't feeling very well yesterday. So I was like, that's absolutely fine, come today instead. Freya's got her Kent test, or the 11 plus if you notice that, um, on Thursday this week. So we're trying to get as much tutoring in as possible before that. And then they've all got Taekwondo, well, two of them have got Taekwondo this afternoon and then Freya is going off for a sleepover with one of her friends. So that's basically it, I'm gonna do a weekend vlog, hope you enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe, we're so nearly at 2,000 subscribers and I'm gonna keep saying it until we hit it. for a teddy bears picnic to meet their year six buddies and kind of just have a fun time before Monday and before real school starts. But every week our school sends out like a school newsletter just to let everyone know what's happened during that week. I love reading the newsletter, it's really cool. So when I was reading yesterday, I never ever expected to see Elsa's face staring back at me. And there she was as the photo for the, the reception starting and me and their year six buddies. And it was like, I just burst into tears like of happiness. It was just really like, overwhelming to see a happy face. I'm going to show you the photo. I I'm going to put my hand over the little girl because it's her, her buddy is with her. But yeah, it was just so, so cute. So, so cute. Um, and she took Big Bear with her. So cute. I'm going to sit down and do some work now. I just wanted to say, I think it's yeah. absolutely mental yeah. that I'm still working on Orlando okay. holiday blog posts. We do normally use these because they're much cheaper. Tortilla chips, lightly salted ones. But these are on offer, which are the ones that are normally in like the old El Paso actual nacho kit. So we are going to use these ones today, I think. Um, and then team them with some salsa dip and guacamole dip. But I will show you in two seconds. These are the salsas. They're the Tesco own um, kind of fresh ones in the fridge section. And the guacamole. Why are you getting biscuits without asking? Can we just kiss? <laughs> Do you love? <laughs> 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 no, I'm kissing somebody else. No! <laughs> my mother-in-law has popped over. Tabby and my mother-in-law are just going out to Sainsbury's to get some food and we're going to do a katsu curry tonight. I don't even know what the time is. Oh, it's half past five. Oh my gosh, it's half past five. <laughs> anyway, we dropped Freya off as well to the play date and I have heard from her, so that's nice. It's nice that she has a phone and that I can kind of keep in contact with her, which is sweet. You know when we went to Ashburn and which was the Christian camping weekend, if you haven't watched that video, please check it out. It's on my I'll try and leave it linked below. I normally forget to leave the links. I vlogged the whole weekend, basically. The elder at our church, so like the main man or one of the main men, he asked me yesterday if I wanted to speak about my experience in front of the church. I experience a lot of social anxiety. So when he said that to me, I just felt a bit like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. I, I hate talking in front of people. I still don't know if I want to do it. A part of me thinks that I should maybe just stay at home and avoid church totally tomorrow. And another part of me wants to go to church because I love it. Um, it is a part of who I am now, like majorly. But 
talking in front of hundreds of people i think they're like there's definitely over 100 people that go to church especially in the morning service so i'm thinking do i just go in the afternoon so that i only have to speak to a certain amount of people but then i want to share my story this whole reason i blog and i vlog and i do social media it's just that whole face to face if i say too much if i don't say the right thing I cry in front of all those people I'm feeling quite nervous about it don't know if i'm gonna do it don't even know if i'm gonna go to church tomorrow but we'll see strawberry. have you finished the other bits on your plate mm -hmm. no so why do you want strawberries strawberry. i only have two yeah because i wanted you to eat the other things have you finished your sandwich no, you look like you're being eaten by the fridge you are a monkey and why do i have toys everywhere at the moment you want me to cut it open for you cut it up good morning i kind of stopped filming last night my katsu curry i just can't do rice rice basically sticky rice or any kind of rice other than the microwavable bags um so if they do sticky rice in a microwavable bag can someone let me know because last night i tried twice and both times failed anyway i've decided to talk, do the talk thing at church that i said about yesterday i am very very nervous i'm trying to kind of ignore the fact that i'm doing it but i can't really ignore because it's all i'm thinking about we're heading off to church in about 15 minutes exactly and then church is at 10 o'clock and i'm feeling very nervous and um, wish me luck i'm gonna try and get hubby because he's actually gonna come along and support me i'm gonna try and get him to film just a couple of bits maybe that i say i don't know you very bravely came away um to ashburn with us as a church now, have you done that before? I suffer with a lot of social anxiety. I looked to go to Ashburn literally at like 11 o'clock the night of the deadline because I was so nervous about doing it. Hmm. Um, and I came and I thought it would be a great opportunity to speak to everybody, to get to know some people. Um, but I kind of hid away in my tent on Friday because I was so nervous. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have done something before I did in mine about five, five years ago. And loved it with my previous church. Oh, we all think you did great, actually, didn't you? Yes, did really well yeah. to come along, and it's it was great to have you there as well. And then um, one evening you came forward, and so tell us about that. What happened? I think Saturday morning was with um, Terry Lobo, and right at the end he had said, "Does anyone want to come and receive God?" And uh, Gemma had looked at me and said, "If you can do it." And I was like, "I'm fine, like, no, thank you." And I waited and waited, and I was like, "You know, I want to do this." I so scared to step forward. I saw Adam standing on his own. Let's go up to somebody I don't really know. So I went over to Adam and I said, will you pray for me? Um, and he did. And during that time, I kind of, again, I was trying to open myself up to it, but I felt like, I'm so nervous. What's going to happen? Am I going to start talking tongues? Because that's what was being prayed for. Um, is this for me? You know, like, why am I up here? And it was with another lady as well. And they just they were both speaking in tongues, so I had no idea what they were praying for. Um, and I stood there, and just all of a sudden, I just felt this like warmth and kind of like a weight was lifted. Um, and he said, Are you okay? And I just burst into tears, basically, and it stop. Um, and I just felt kind of overwhelmed and like uh, filled, I suppose, and just like somebody was there. And, Lifting the things that I was worried about. Um, and then afterwards, I had to go pick the girls up from their kids' club and I couldn't stop crying. I was like trying to put myself together. I was like, I can't be crying in front of the kids. And, like, and it took me the whole walk. I, just, I was just crying. <laughs> I couldn't stop. And the girls, I realised it, and they were like, Yeah, yeah, mommy. I was like, I think so, yes. <laughs> no. So, what, what impact has that, has that had on you? So that morning, so that day, I just felt very emotional the rest of the day, very, um, I wanted to know God more, like I wanted to read my Bible more, because I'm a very new Christian anyway, um, and I just felt very happy, and like I could talk to anyone, <coughs> I did, uh, on that Saturday, I, I wasn't in my tent very much, um, Sunday I wasn't, I was sleeping, I stayed out on Saturday night with everyone, and Sunday night. Um, and I just felt like I was at home and at peace with myself. Wow. 
and has a candle, or is that? We are back home from church now, and I have done the girl from nachos again we love nachos just looking for a better pen because they've been closed and look it's like flat at the top and i can't write with it properly especially on tiny labels i hope you enjoyed my little church talk because hubby filmed all of it and i've got to tackle this which is a nightmare it's been here for about two weeks i keep shoving it on the floor and back again but hubby's doing some more washing now so he's gonna bring that up and then i'm gonna do that oh i'm so out of breath i just feel like uh, panicky about like but like elsa starting school tomorrow i so it's kind of suddenly dawned on me as i'm like doing her labeling that she's not gonna be around i'm feeling a bit emotional um so i probably won't talk to you until a little bit later ignore next door's dog barking every time someone walks past right um clothes are finished now two hours to do all of this yeah. monkey brains here and she's been dozing in out of sleep all afternoon haven't you because apparently she came home all pleased with herself because she had four hours sleep didn't you I wanted to stay all night. but that's not good for your body as you're finding out that's why you're falling asleep <laughs> you excited to be going to big school tomorrow no no Are you worried yeah. A little bit. What are you worried about? I'm worried about if he hurts me. Who hurts you? My teacher. Your teacher's not going to hurt you. Hurt my feelings. Hurt your feelings? Yeah. She's not going to hurt your feelings. Yeah. I bet you're going to have a really fun day tomorrow. Who said? Hello. Who said I was going to hurt her feelings. Hello. My little thing's gone. Hello. Who have you got in bed with you tonight? Big Bear. Big Bear. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. You're hyper. I think we're going to have to stop eating anything sugary for you because you just go a bit crazy at the moment, aren't you? Hey. Cats are coming in cold at the moment because the weather's dropped. You're not meant to be in that box. Jakey? You're not meant to be in there. <laughs>